Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. I just bought for the here and as you can see I was successful in getting her. Um, yeah, I was basically guaranteed to get her actually, um, but still got kinda lucky, only needed about half of my Primo Gems um, since I got a really early 5 star. It was a loss 50-50 but it was a cheat so I was fine with that and then just needed to go to Soft Pity to get the here. So yeah, it was kinda nice. Also got C6 Cole, really good wishing session and now I'm gonna build the here immediately. Um, yeah, pre-farmed all the materials so I can level her up to 90 um, right away. So I'm gonna do that now and gonna speed it up as usual. So see you in a minute. Okay, and there she is, level 90D here. Um, yeah, let's go over the build real quick. Um, 34,000 HP, which is actually more than I expected, so that's nice. Um, and we have 1,600 attack. Crit rate, 77. Crit damage, exactly 158. Um, 135 energy recharge, 61 pyro damage bonus, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, sadly, no elemental mastery. Um, yeah, couldn't get any EM substats on my artifacts. Then the weapon I'm using is the Black Cliff Slasher, mainly just for the crit damage. And artifacts, 2-piece Crim Crimson Witch, 2-piece Shimenavas Reminiscence, full DPS mode. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play as a DPS, not as a support. Um, so that's why I went for Shimenava. Also on C0, I think um, attack is better than HP. It's also why not Tenacity instead. But yeah, let's take a look at these artifacts real quick. Got this pretty nice flower with a whopping 17.9% crit rate. It's probably the highest crit rate I have on any artifact. Besides, obviously, um, crit rate circlets. Um, but uh, it's the main stat there. So, substat wise, probably the highest crit rate of any of my artifacts. Got really lucky there. Um, then we have this feather with crit rate, crit damage, and some energy recharge. Here we have an attack sense with energy recharge and crit rate. A pyro damage bonus uh, goblet with crit damage, energy recharge, HP. And a crit rate circlet with HP and crit damage. Also rolled pretty well here, mostly into crit damage, so that's pretty nice. So yeah, that's my D here build. Talents are on level 9. So, let's test her now. Okay, wait, I just realized, um, oh, the high HP, um, is because I have Hydro Resonance. Just, um, switch out for, I don't know, you live now. Doesn't matter, I just wanna see the HP without Hydro Resonance. Okay, let's see. Still over 30k, so that's, that's actually still more than I expected. I was expecting somewhere around 26 to 28k, so 30k, that's still really nice. Now, as usual for the testing segment, I'm gonna fight Masanori here. And yeah, for now, I'm just gonna go solo D here and see what she can do on her own. Okay, here we go. Okay, normal attacks to over 2000, 3000 there, 4000 when they crit. Okay, nice. Let's test her skill now. Oh, I didn't see the pyro damage there. Oh, there we go. 4,000. Okay. What if I do this kick? That's 6,800. Decent. Not the best you'll ever see, but it's okay. 
Let's try this again. Yeah, they already got her skill back, so the downtime doesn't even feel that bad. It was something that a lot of people are complaining about um, for her release. That she has pretty high downtime, but to be honest, doesn't really feel that bad. I was so close to the burst. There we go. Okay. How much damage is she doing? 6,000? 6,700? Yeah. Okay. Those punches were pretty slow because I forgot that you have to um, still click attack to punch faster. So that was around 5 punches, but I know that you can get up to 10, I think. Or much more damage. Okay, I'm gonna try again, but this time, uh, as you can see, I put Yanfei in the team just um, to get the burst a little bit quicker. Yeah, give me those pile particles. But she has damage uh, reduction, right, for the active character. Okay, yeah, that did actually did almost no damage. Normally his attacks are really strong, so would do a lot more damage than this. Yeah, that's pretty nice. But again, I'm not really gonna use her as a support. I want to do main DPS the here. Okay, we got the burst. But I'm gonna wait until I got my skill back, because you can kinda extend the skill with the burst, um, so the downtime is even lower. And I wanna see how fast we then get our skill back. Okay, here we go. Don't block, don't block, don't block. There we go. Yeah, now she's punching way fast in order that I'm actually clicking something. Okay, the field is still active. The field is still active and it's gone and we can immediately replace it. Okay, downtime. What downtime? People were complaining so much about her skill downtime. If you just, you know, use the burst wisely, then what downtime is there? And also, Dia was in the red um, while I used the burst, but now she's back up at uh, green health, so she has to self-sustain. She can basically heal herself with one of her ascension passives, which is really nice. Heals even more than I thought. So she it just seems to be a self-sustaining DPS. Um, she doesn't do the most damage, but you also don't really have to worry about her dying. Uh, maybe you don't even need a shielder or healer in her team, so you can focus more on damage supports. And talking about damage supports, I think it's time that we um, build a full team and see how much she can do if she has some support. Obviously one of the um, best units to use with her probably would be Bennett, but my Bennett isn't built and I refuse to use Bennett on this account, maybe on my auto account someday, but yeah. For here, I think I'm just gonna keep Yenfei, yeah, and probably add Yelan to see if the burst works with Yelan's burst. I don't think it will, but I just want to try it. Um, see if we can get on some vaporizers, and then let's put Hazel in here, just to see how much the uh, can do if we swirl pyro. So first, I'm gonna use this skill, then swirl pyro. Let's see how much does she do now. Okay. Almost 6,000 with the field. Not bad. Jumping kick. 7,600. Okay. Definitely see the damage increase. Um, now I don't have Yelan's burst. That's bad. Okay, there we go. Let's see if the bursts work together. Probably not, but again, I just want to try. Yeah, okay. Doesn't work. Damn it. Oh well, it was worth a try, I guess. But I have another idea for how we can get vaporizers with the here. Uh... Okay, who could you be used besides Yelan? Obviously, like Kokumi could be an option. Um, but I'm thinking Nilu, um, because she can create this water ring around her. And uh, normally, when I normally my pyro DPS is Yoimiya. And uh, yeah, that doesn't really work because you have to go really close to the enemy for the watering to apply hydro. But for Dia, that uh, would actually be perfect because Dia wants to be up close anyway. So yeah, let's just switch Yelan out for Nilu and see how it goes. Okay, first I'm gonna place down the field. Well, 
Get the ring. And burst. Are we getting vaporizes, but he's blocking. Come on. Oh, 9,000 there. 11,000, 15,000 on the last one. That's actually consistent vaporizes. So that actually works really well. Oh my god. That works better than I expected. Yeah, Dea and Nilu. Dream team. And then during her downtime, we can just use Nilu's other mode here and vaporize Nilu's hits. Um, well, now the field's down, but in theory, you know. <laughs> Now if we had Bennett here instead of Yenfei, that was he would be better as a battery and could also boost the attack further. I think that might actually be a really good team. Be here Bennett, Nilu, Hazo, or you know, Kazuha or Sucrose instead of Hazo, probably be better. Second HP bar, let's try this again. Well, first we need to get a burst. Ow. I think I just wrote the wrong element there. Oh well. Still doing decent damage. Yeah, and we're actually consistently vaporizing. That is pretty nice. I, I had this idea from the beginning to try to use Nilu um, if Yelan doesn't work, but <laughs> I wasn't expecting that we would actually vaporize so many hits of, her, of the ES burst. It's actually pretty good. The ES burst gotta say i love it just punching away at the enemy with yeah just uh, big fire punches it's awesome even though i gotta say still even with the vaporize the damage could be a little bit higher i admit that she might not be the best character but honestly i don't really care um i'm still having a lot of fun here but Genshin is an easy game anyway and i think you can definitely make the work in the abyss especially if you're not like me who refuses to use bennett um Actually, C6 Bennett might be really good here to also convert her normal attacks to Pyro. Um, kind of want to try it, actually, but I still refuse to to level my Bennett. So, not going to happen. At least not on this account. Maybe on my alt account. But yeah, that's the year. Gotta say, I'm still loving her. And I hope you enjoyed this video, too. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.